Now we head to Chicago as in battle, in battle City that we visit often on Cross Country. Watch. Do we need new leadership in Chicago? Yeah, my, my suggestion? Yeah. I hope you get this. Get rid of, get, get rid of, uh, what's her name? Lightfoot. Uh, Lightfoot, Brown, and, and Kim Fox. Everybody. Because, because what's going You agree with that, man? Absolutely. Everything you just said, absolutely. How bad is it here, man? It is terrible here. So it's two down, one to go. After Mary, uh, Mayor Lori Lightfoot didn't even earn enough votes to make it to the runoff election in Chicago. It's a powerful referendum on leaders who failed her city. She's the first mayor not to win re-election in the Windy City in nearly 40 years. Her police superintendent, David Brown, resigned shortly after. But while many are celebrating, it may be too soon. Let's take a look at the two men who could take over. On one hand, you got Paul Vallis, used to be the head of the Chicago Public Schools. He was the top vote earner in Tuesday race, and he's running on a law and order platform, promising to hire hundreds of cops. But on the other hand, you got Cook County Commissioner Brandon Johnson. He's backed by the teachers' union. He vowed to tax the rich, even though businesses are leaving. He's against school choice, even though the schools are failing. And he referred to defund the police as his political goal, even though crime is out of control. Pundits predict a racially polarizing runoff. But I'm more concerned about the possibility that someone even further to the left than Lightfoot could take control. It goes without saying that a Republican would have a hard time winning in Chicago, but not one single Republican even ran. The GOP is constantly condemning the, the fall of our country's once great city. So why did anyone decide to run in the race? My hope for Chicago is to find a leader who can right the ship, who cares about the residents and the city. And my hope is that Lori Lightfoot's failure would be the first in a line of dominoes and grime-ridden cities led by progressive leaders more concerned with equity than safety. So who's next? I think LaToya Cantrell. New Orleans should be afraid. Under her watch, the Big Easy got a new nickname, the murder capital. So who's... Those who live there are making themselves heard, launching a recall effort to get her out. We enlisted the help of New Orleans native, Fox News contributor, Raymond Arroyo to find out just how close Cantrell is to the chopping block. Watch. Tell me, do you support this recall effort? Absolutely. 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 I do. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. I do. I definitely do. Um, it's just some things that I've seen that just a little distasteful. Yeah, she needs to go. The crime is just getting outrageous over here. Nothing's being done. Our local con mayor, as of today, is just not doing her job on every front. She's getting nothing right. She's terrible, and our city is falling apart, and we needed somebody to make our city better, and she's making it worse. I have four children of my own, and I feel that our city has become an unsafe place. Kids don't go outside and play anymore. You look around the city, and you see the trash. You see the homeless encampments everywhere. The city's in the crime. It's just it's out of control. What has she done well? What has she done to, for, for the city? Look at it. Go try and drive down the street. This is ridiculous. We live in a third world country. You think she'll survive this recall effort? Honestly, probably not. Well, she definitely should not. I don't believe she has a shot. We don't think that she should. She's just gotten the big head. She's got, to me, that's not appropriate. We don't want her. She's not a New Orleanian. She does not have it in her heart. And we do, and we live here, and we're done. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.